Hey folks, it's Harry from Snap at Eddie Barbecue. Finally here at Memphis in May 2023, featuring the country of Malaysia, the country I was born. I'm here to help the Willingham team win the World Championship. I'm in charge of uh, the uh, Malaysian entry for the exotic meat. So we're gonna be helping the team cook a amazing, amazing series of categories in the ancillaries on Thursday and Friday and the main one on Saturday in your shoulder. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Kudos to my host, Paul Holden and his crew and all the pit masters from around the world who are coming here to do the Super Bowl Swine 2023. In wow. filo dough. Filo dough, wow. And this is your new creation for this year. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saucing the top of these chicken thighs here. It's beautiful. And we'll put them back in and, and uh, put a little heat on them and glaze it over. Absolutely gorgeous. And we yeah, have quite a few here. Ready to go for the poultry entry here at Memphis in May 2023. So, Jeff, what are you turning? Uh, we turned in wow, uh, this gorgeous. some flank steak pinwheels. This is just the, uh, the stuff that we didn't turn in. <clears throat> The sous vide one was this one, and uh, we uh, didn't sear it long enough for the, the cheese to get done in the middle of it. Okay. So we're here, uh, this is going to what everybody else is going to get to eat here in the booth. <coughs> the uh, cook meal. All right, well done, looks good. Thanks. This tiny little hand carry luggage here that I carried all the way from Los Angeles to Minneapolis to Memphis has all of the sauces, ingredients, bison meat needed to cook the exotic entry contest here on the Willingham team in Memphis in May. I'm gonna unpack it and show you guys how much I was able to squeeze in here in a uh, one luggage. And we'll uh, show you guys how we create a world-class entry by uh, getting everything into one box right here. I got my grill, I got my uh, rice cooker, ready to make the uh, Malaysian wedding rice. We got uh, so many ingredients here, okay, painstakingly packed for the past few weeks here. And we have our bison meat, American buffalo, right here, prepped and ready to go with the satay sauces and all the goodies ready to go. My first order of business is uh, the bison. I brought the bison to me and we're gonna soak it in the satay marinade. This is how the satay marinade looks like. It's uh, what we call a uh, sambal paste and it makes it taste really good. It's got lemongrass, some uh, coriander, cumin, curry powder, chili, shallots. So lots of good stuff, we're gonna marinate this now. So the ambitious plan is gonna be a very complex cook. I'm gonna be making a uh, dish to pay homage to the country being honored in Memphis in May 2023. So the country of Malaysia is being honored. I'm doing a uh, Malaysian buffalo wedding platter with the American bison and uh, it's basically the concept is a feast for a wedding in Malaysia featuring American buffalo. I have a, like a wedding rice called nasi kunyit which is a wedding ser a rice served in weddings. It's got little eggs for fertility, yellow saffron for royalty. We have a, a buffalo satay with peanut sauce and cucumber pickles, buffalo goja with ponzu and green chili and a buffalo water chestnut egg rolls and we're gonna plate it kind of like that. So that was a practice plate. We're gonna do it live here right now in Memphis and May.
crew meal, Malaysian wedding platter. Here's the saffron rice with the royal tea, saffron, the cotilla tea eggs, the uh, buffalo goija, uh, egg rolls, more goija fried, and uh, satay with a fresh pickle. All gonna be good here. It's 200 degrees and what is your cooker doing? Well, if you have something very unique like a wham cooker, built by Mr. John Willingham, you're gonna have a whole slew of wonderful ribs in it and the chicken absolutely gorgeous getting happy 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 for some of the judges they're coming to check out our booth as we cook a pork shoulder we just finished the ancillary category cleaning up the site everybody's getting ready for the big show with the VIP judges coming shortly and everything is running smoothly Scott what are we doing here hey we've got uh, seven pork shoulders on here that we've got smoking on a Lang smoker. It's a reverse flow offset. Uh, we've had them on there. We're running at about 250. Okay. We started out at 225. We're using all hickory wood coming out of North East Georgia. Drum roll. Woo! Look at that. Those look absolutely beautiful. And what is the technique you're using here today? Some special black belt stuff I see here. Oh, actually, white belt, not white black yeah. belt. Yeah. White belt stuff. <laughs> We That's got those, and I'm going to close this down. We need yeah, to keep this thing we cooking. Don't want to, uh, so, mess up your profile. We yeah. wet the rags down to protect that, that skin on that shoulder there uh, to keep it from turning too dark. But uh, we've injected them, rubbed them. Looks beautiful. Yeah, Everybody's you. using the uh, kitchen towel method. Yes, I noticed, exactly. right? Is that, is, that, is that what's winning? Yes. Every, 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 every. And keeping it dry, keeping it uh, moist and everything to keep it pretty. Okay. Keep it looking good okay. for the judges. you from Memphis in May yes they did rain it did rain and everything is kind of muddy but we have the A-team here working on the shoulders the master Scott team captain Paul Holden Paul what do you think of the uh, shoulders they look absolutely gorgeous they're today. good they're, they're good just putting our last little bit of William Lamb finishing glaze and uh, I think they'll be ready here in about an hour Absolutely gorgeous, beautiful. beautiful glaze, absolutely beautiful shine, a few secret sauces and a few secret rubs and we're ready for judging, that's going to be happening soon. Alright, that's a beautiful looking box. Final say so from the ladies, quality control, quality assurance, everything looks absolutely gorgeous here. Willingham Barbecue, Tennessee. We got it on Lang and uh, just absolutely, absolutely beautiful pork shoulder here. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay folks, I have to whisper because uh, judging is going on right now. So the judges have come and shown up at the Willingham booth. And uh, we are all, after being introduced, we're all standing outside our booth. Staying very, very quiet. If you look inside here, they are actually doing the judging. So there is a judge in there. And the team members who are assigned to do the judging, they are actually talking to the judge now. Explaining him the story of the meat the smoke, the process, the family, the tradition, the sauce, and uh, they have about 15 minutes to do that. So we're gonna be all out here waiting for our turn to go back in to kind of greet the judge. So this is how Memphis in May judging is done. It's a really quiet here in Memphis. You can hear a pin drop as the judging is continuing in the whole hog area, the rib area, as well as the shoulder area. Hey Matthew, what's up man? Hey, I'm here with Harry Sue. <laughs> My name is Matt Osmond. I live in Nashville, Tennessee. My barbecue name is Blinky's Offset Barbecue. I'm cooking at Memphis in May with Mississippi Meat Mafia. Mr. Harry Sue means 
absolutely the world to me. I appreciate every hour, every sleepless night, every time your family didn't get to spend a wink of moments with you because you were following your barbecue passion. As you say, spreading barbecue love. Wow, that, that is an amazing, amazing experience, guys. So you heard it here, right? So thank you, brother. Harry thank you, my brother. Dedication, a legend. All right, barbecue, bluff, all the way for you. Always. Always, man, Appreciate always. It. All right, man, take care. So Carla, what are we up to today? We are making our annual after the barbecue contest hot dogs. <laughs> and this is a Willingham tradition. Willingham Going back tradition. to your dad many my years dad. ago. Yeah. And uh, the te entire team always looks forward yeah. to this moment where after a hard day's work at Memphis in May, and we get our ram dog. We get our ram, ram dog. Yeah. Ram dog <laughs> coming your way. Beautiful. I'm trying to cook some food on without like, burning my hand. And I want, I want all these, yeah. I want all these hot dogs here. Is that a ram tradition? No, oh, Rudy's got them. Yeah, the ram dogs. The ram dogs. And We've been doing that for 40 years down here. We take hot dogs, put some ram seasoning on. We enjoy some just basic hot dogs with our seasoning every year. After a hard days at Memphis in May, we got other goodies here also. Yep, and little, little things. Little boudin action little boudin, going on. Little yeah. boudin action, little hot dog action going on here. Wonderful. Some steak we didn't cook. We're going to eat it. We didn't cook. Okay. Wagyu. Wagyu, no less. Okay. Save the best for the last. A little spinny spinny going on here.